Hey guys, Gabe here, and today I'm going to bring you some gameplay as well as a review on the Bulldog, which is one of the newer weapons from the Dragon's Teeth DLC. And for me, this gun is really well rounded. I'm actually very surprised at how good it handles, especially groups of enemies, for being the clip so small, only 20 round magazine stock, and I would say 21 if you reload it again. But I mean that's pretty low. I think the Scar H has a higher, I guess, clip size. But for this gun, it actually can take down about three, maybe four people if you, you know, shoot it and time it right. Like right there, I wasted ten, about ten bullets. But that was just probably bad timing. Just forget about that. But um, I don't know. This gun's pretty good, and I would say you can use it for any situation, even close quarters. Although the rate of fire isn't on par with other assault rifles in its classes either. But this gun is really good because if you just do bursts, if you're going to shoot someone kind of at a, I guess, a range, like far away, like right now, you just burst like three shots and you, you can still get them. So you don't have to work too hard for it. And also as well, I don't use any compensators because for me, if you use a muzzle brake or anything like that, it will lower the range significantly on this gun, so you may want to keep those off, just to be safe. But other than that, this weapon's pretty good. And right now, I'm gonna try to take down a group of enemies that are killing my team right here. And as you can see, I do have to reload more frequently, especially taking on more than one enemy at a time. But at the same time, I recommend since you're using the assault class with this, you'll have a health pack. So just throw that down. You get shot at while you're reloading. You should be okay. And getting those assault rifle weapons as well. But other than that, it's pretty good. Just you gotta keep those health packs with you if you're gonna go in, try to take out a group, and you're gonna be reloading constantly. But other than that, it's like how I put this. I feel like they had to balance out the weapon, not make it too not make it too overpowering, because this weapon is really good. Just the fact that I can just like take out groups is really cool. For the rate of fire and damage and actually just for how just for everything about the gun but i like using it and i recommend just not putting any attachment on the barrel at all just keep it stock and you should be good but also the assignment was only 30 kills which is pretty good it's not too hefty on you and compared to other assignments i would say it's pretty easy but in the long run this gun's i would say it's it's pretty awesome if you're going to be playing team deathmatch as well but other than that, this gun is mostly used in urban, like like the CS5, urban environments, mostly, I would say certain police forces, SWAT teams, whatever, etc. may use this gun. And the only problem is the clip size. For me, I, I could care less about the rate of fire or damage. I mean, for me, it's just right. But the clip is just, I'm not feeling it with the clip on this one. It's way too small for an assault rifle. I felt like they could have made it at least 26 rounds max, 25, and I would have been fine with that. But as you can see here, I wasted almost a whole clip on one guy. And that's the only bad thing I would say about this gun. And also the fact that if you're trying to take out a group of enemies really quick, <laughs> it may be kind of hard, so you might have want to like not try and do that. I mean, I, I would say I'm pretty good at doing that, but... Like I said, the rate of fire is holding me back just a bit, but mainly the clip. Why they did this, I don't know. I doubt there will be an update or something like that, but I mean, it is what it is, and I'm very satisfied with it. Also, for me, this gun is good for if you're going to be getting medium to close. And like I said, if you're going for long range, you could get a headshot long range with this if you just burst fire or switch it over to one shot. Which I don't recommend though because I try it out and it just doesn't work for me. And I would say like I'm a pretty good sniper so I can use any weapon makeshift. But this gun's not just there. But other than that, I guess we can just keep playing this match out. Let me see. But like I said, it's good for taking out more than two enemies, maybe two or three. But when it comes down to it, it's just, I don't know. 
Wow, he got me with the suppressor. <laughs> but, I don't know, just the clip, and it like rages me so much just to know that the clip is really small. But, I mean, other than that, it's a pretty cool gun. But, for, let me see. For one thing I did notice was, there is a clip delay, and it's taking... Also, just just like I keep saying, if you're using this gun, I recommend burst firing it. It doesn't have the burst fire option, but you know, you know what I mean. Just if you're gonna, if you're in auto, just shoot, let go of the trigger, shoot again. It may be easier since you know using the controller, but that's just my take on it. But also, tr if you're gonna head into a group of enemies, be sure you're their assault and you and you have the health pack. You will need it. I mean, as you saw earlier, it did help out quite a bit. But just, I guess, if you're with one more person, you should be okay. But let me see. We're going to go in here and try to try to take out this guy real quick. Huh. I see that they're all running to, like, that point. Also, quick note. Chain Link is just an awesome game mode. I mean, it's like Team Deathmatch, but with, a, like I said, with objectives. Other than just killing each other, like, endlessly. Oh, wow. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> no, he didn't get me. As you can see, the reload does take up a bit of time, and you could probably just stop it, but just, I don't know. It's just the reload factor that bugs me the most with this weapon, and that usually doesn't bother me with the weapon, but if you're the type that needs to reload, get in the quick, and just like, in the quick, and it's just try and kill your enemies, it may be a problem. So, you may want to attach the suppressor if you're going to go for groups. But the problem is there, it will make the bullet speed significantly slower. And uh, I would say the, um, the accuracy from range. And also if you're going to be like wanting to free fire it. But other than that, it's pretty good. As to right here, as you can see. I'm trying to take all these guys. Have to reload. So I pull on my gun and it's just not doing it. Those two factors are just, just I mean, making it kind of bad for me. But, like I said, that's my take on it. You're probably a better player than me. You can probably just handle it better. But, guys, that's pretty much it about the gun. And, let me see. We just continue to play this match. Get this guy right here. As you can see, it's not that good with range. But, I mean, it can, like, do the job sometimes. But, that was kind of my fault for just trying to, um, I guess, shoot him with just a full auto. As you can see, the health packs do come in handy with this weapon because you, since you're constantly reloading and getting shot at taking damage, you will need to reload your weapon as well as your health. And so as long as you have the health pack, you should be pretty good. You see, waiting here, trying to get this link. Hmm. Okay, but anyways guys, that's pretty much it for today. And if you need anything, just comment them below, give me more tips, but other than that, this review's done, it's a great weapon, and game out. Later.